The DJI FPV versus the DJI Avada. is the better FPV drone. We have to start off with the convenience. These two drones, even though both are convenient because those are the smart drones, you know, the smart batteries with all those smart features from DJI, well, there are two different kinds of a drone. This is more like a racer and this is more like a Cinewhoop. And in terms of convenience, there's a huge difference between those two drones. Carrying around a DJI Avada is much easier and simpler than having the DJI FPV. Not only you have to carry pretty much the battery separately because the DJI FPV is pretty big in itself, you have to take off the propellers and have them stored somewhere else, and it's just a much bigger and heavier drone to carry with you. And being that I'm a travel filmmaker, having too much gear tends to slow you down. You just want to have something that works out of the box. You don't have to fiddle around with, you know, setting everything up every time and carrying a lot of weight. Well, in this category, the DJI Avada is just much better in terms of like the weight, carrying it around, having it in your backpack. This is all you need and this is much more to have with you. And the same thing could be said about the setup of the two drones. With the DJI Avada, you can just turn it on, put it on the ground and start flying. It is good to go. The DJI FPV for me has been a much different experience. Not only is a lot more to carry, you have to set everything up, you have to put on the propellers, so you know, four propellers, then you have to screw in the you know, the antennas on your goggles. Then when you finally have everything ready, well, I fly with the GoPro on top because the quality of the camera, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, isn't the best, so I have a GoPro mounted on top. Then you put the GoPro on top, then you actually have to fiddle around to see if the angle is similar to what you see on the goggles so that you're recording pretty much what you see. And from there, you start flying. So it's not as convenient as just starting to fly right away with the Avada. Which brings me to our second point, which is the camera quality. The DJI FPV doesn't have the best camera quality out there. While it can record in 4K 60 frames per second, it's not the best of the quality, it's pretty zoomed in, and also you can kind of see the propellers in your shots while filming. And that is the reason why a lot of people actually use the GoPro on top of the DJI FPV, and that includes me, where I have the GoPro mount on the top, and that makes it that Avada is a better camera here because you can record straight from the Avada. It has 4K 60 frames per second with decent like footage, so same thing for both, but you don't see the propellers, it looks much better. It has 10-bit recording, which means it's better for post-production and you can push it a little bit further. And to top it off, you can actually record the gyro data on this drone you can do it on the GoPro if you use it, but if we're talking about the two drones themselves, you can actually record the gyro data inside of the DJ Avada and then use Gyroflow to have the civilization in post, making it a much better option in terms of the camera quality. If we compare it to a GoPro on top, well, this makes it a little bit more closer, I still feel like it's not worth the hassle of having to work with such a big setup and just heavier and, you know, playing around with a GoPro additional camera on top, where this just works out of the box. And while yes, the GoPro footage is gonna be 10-bit, 4K or 5K, depending on what you use, so 4K 60 frames per second, with the gyro flow stabilization in post, and flat picture profile 10-bit, so everything pretty much matches up nicely. But because it's a mounted camera on top, where this is a camera on a one-axis gimbal, this has no vibrations, where the GoPro on top can find vibrations, and because of that, the footage at smaller shutter speeds, which you would like to have, isn't as good. So this can be worked with at 4K 60 frames per second with a nice shutter speed, make it more cinematic and just more smooth. While this, yes, you can go to a nice shutter speed, but because it's a mounted camera on top, I found to have a lot of vibrations while filming. And one more thing is, here you can actually on the fly change the angle of the camera because what you see is what you're recording. And that can make it go faster or slower depending on how you use it, but Basically, you can change the camera angle, where here you can do it too. But if you're using a GoPro on top, that is gonna stay in the position it's at when you start flying. So keep that in mind, it just makes it much more convenient, so I feel like in this comparison I still would prefer a DJI Avada. Because of the extra weight that this has, especially with the GoPro, the battery here doesn't hold as good as on the Avada. Avada without the GoPro 
works really nicely. I can really fly around for a lot of time and I can feel that I'm flying for a couple of minutes. Where on the DJI FPV with the GoPro on top, it just feels in the air like you're up in the air and you have to get down. While you have five, six minutes, that is much less than what I get from the Avada. And yes, I know this is not a fair comparison because we're comparing having a GoPro, full-size GoPro on top of the DJI FPV and Avada, but I think a lot of people are gonna look at this as a pretty much usage with the GoPro versus usage without, and that is how I use it. And I see that there is pretty much, so far, more benefits to just using the Avada lighter, easier to use, you can set it up and start flying in comparison, which this takes a lot of more time to get going, and overall is just more convenient. Another thing that I noticed between those two is the signal strength to the goggles. I used the DJI Goggles V2, but I did test the Goggles 2 for the Avada, which are unfortunately not the best goggles for me and my face shape, but overall I just noticed that the Avada has better signal strength. I know this could be due to the GoPro on top, or the GoPro holder in that case, but I feel like this starts to lose connection after flying behind trees. And I tested it in all the signal strengths, so the FCC, CE, all those different options. I tested both of them. The signal on the FPV starts to, you know, cut out a little bit behind like trees or leaves and all those different things. It is much easier to lose the connection. And on Avada is just perfect. All the time I have flown, no matter how low, how far I've flown, it was perfect. So there could be a difference. I know it could be because of the GoPro and the mount, but I feel like it might be just the difference of the Avada being a little bit better in that regard. And last but not least, I have to say the just flying experience. Well, I do love both of the drones for what they are. You know, the FPV is undeniably the faster drone, the more strong drone. It can fly faster than the Avada. And the Avada, let's be honest, it's not the fastest and it's not the most agile drone in the world. And you know, it has its fair share of bugs and what people actually reported on the dropping in the sky, which is actually when you do a sharp turn too fast, too hard. And from my experience, I just prefer flying with the Avada. Yes, I started out with FPV and I loved it, but now that I have both, I just prefer flying with Avada. There's a couple of reasons. One is it feels, maybe it's slower, but it feels more responsive, more, you know, something that I have control over, that I feel like I kind of have more control over the flight, it's more smooth in that regard, where the FPV just feels like it's just going at it all the time, even if I try to go slower, it just happens out to be a little bit more, you know, it isn't as smooth in its flight, in my personal opinion. It could be the GoPro again, but I just feel like it just goes a little bit different than the Avada. And the second thing is, it's smaller, so I can feel comfortable flying in tight spaces or between things like trees, where on the FPV, there is that fear of it being a little bit too big, you know, having the exposed propellers, the GoPro on the top, making it a little bit more, you know, not convenient for that kind of flying. And also, because of the propeller guards on the Avada compared to exposed body of the FPV, I just feel confident flying this as close to the ground and to things, trees, everything pretty much, because I feel confident that if I make a mistake, this can survive it. Or at least it should be able to survive. While this, I don't feel safe at all. I feel like it's not only gonna break something, it's gonna break itself. The legs are exposed, the propellers are exposed. I know that if I fail with this, this could be the end of it. And because it doesn't feel as smooth and feels a little bit faster, it just adds to that feeling. So personally, I just feel much more safer, much more enjoyable flight from the DJ Avada. But both of the drones are amazing. And I have to say, the DJ FPV is the drone that got me into FPV filmmaking and I would not trade it out for anything else because that was a perfect way to start and start flying. Even though I feel like the DJI Avada is gonna be my preferred drone from now on, I have to say this was a great purchase. It got me into FPV and it just made me a better pilot overall. And I would highly recommend, if you don't have the budget for Avada, you can test it out, try it out especially with the GoPro, it's still gonna provide you great footage. You just have to know the limitations of both drones, their strength, and ask yourself if you rather have a very strong drone, which, for example, I'm gonna keep the GAFPV in case I'm going to a place where I know the winds are gonna be much, much stronger, because let's be honest, Avada 
that is gonna be the place where it's not gonna do as good as the FPV. It's just much stronger, which can withhold high wind situations, and the Avada's downfall is gonna probably be the extreme weather situations or flying too harshly. So it's a case-by-case -case scenario. You might want actually the FPV if that is what you're looking for, or if you want the convenience, the smaller form factor, and it's gonna be okay if you sometimes maybe miss a shot because you cannot fly in higher winds, like in Iceland, well, the DJ Avada is the one to get. In my opinion, both are amazing, but if I were to choose for now, I feel like the Avada is the one for me, but I love the FPV too, both are amazing, you cannot go wrong with them. And with that being said, it's gonna be the end of today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your preferred FPV in terms of DJI FPV versus Avada, which one you like more, and which one you're using if you have any of them. With that being said, it's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and I'll see you next time.